there are various things moving in our world. For example, if you look around you, there is a fan which is moving, there are cars running on the road. What are these motions, right? Can we classify these motions into certain kinds? Yes, we can. There are two main, main kinds of motion. One is translatory, the second one is rotary. So translatory motion can be again divided into, into three kinds. So translation happens when the thing moves as a whole from one place to another. This is translation. The translation can of course be linear when things are moving straight. It can be curvilinear when things are moving round, right, in a kind of a circular trajectory. And it can be, or it can be random. Rotary motion happens when things rotate around an axis. So this is the axis, it passes, passes the axis of this rotation passes through the object itself and around this axis all of this earth is moving, right? all this stuff is moving around this axis. So this is rotation. Of course, when we talk about circular motion, it can be of two types, either rotation or revolution. Revolution happens when the axis around which the thing is moving lies outside the object, right? So this is the axis around which this ball is moving. So this is revolution as the axis is outside the ball. Of course, lot of motions can be created by combining these basic kinds of uh, motions, right? Basic, basic kinds. So for example, if you look at this yo-yo, it exhibits two kinds of motion. One is rotation and the second is translation. The combination of these two motions is known as rolling motion. So this yo-yo is actually rolling on the, on the string because it is exhibiting both rotation as well as translation. The axis of rotation itself is moving up and down. Other than important classification for motion is whether it, it is periodic or aperiodic or non-periodic. Periodic motion happens when the same kind of pattern is repeated again and again. A very simple example is that of a pendulum which is commonly seen. So this, this pendulum is exhibiting a periodic motion. The same motion is repeating again and again. Of course, this kind of motion where the object is undergoing translation, right? It's a pe periodic translation because the entire object is moving is known as oscillation. The other kind of periodic motion can be vibration where the object itself is not really moving. It is staying at the same place but exhibiting some kind of motion. Though those were the important kinds of motion and, and of these translatory and rotary motion are very very important. Thank you.